eliminate obstructions. On the body of a Valkyrie's fire bodhisattva, there is a gold hair pore, inside which there are innumerable hundreds of thousands of ten thousands of Gandharvas. They do not suffer from transmigration, but are always enjoying the supreme bliss. The heavenly substances for their uses are limitless. They are free from the mind of evil, hate, and jealousness, and have no greed, anger, or ignorance. They constantly practice the Noble Eightfold Path and are always enjoying the Dharma joy. Eliminate Obstructions In this gold hair pour, there is also an illuminant, wish-fulfilling precious pearl which fulfills all the needs of those Gandharvas according to their wishes. Inside that gold hair pour, the things are thus. Moreover, there is a black hair pour, inside which there are innumerable hundreds of thousands of ten thousands of kotis of Nayudas of immortals who have supernatural powers. Some of them have one kind of supernatural power, some of them have two, three, four, or five supernatural powers, and some of them have fully the six supernatural powers. Inside that hair pour there is also a silver ground with a gold mountain on it. The peak of the mountain is made of silver, and thirty-seven love-defiled lotus treasures are adorning the mountain. Inside that mountain there are eighty-four thousand immortals. Besides the place of those immortals, there are some kalpataru trees, with the trunks of deep red, and the branches and leaves made of gold or silver. The trees are emitting precious light. On each side of the hair pour there are pools of the four treasures, filled with the waters of the eight merits and virtues. Inside the pools there are full of wonderful flowers. Besides the banks of the pools there are heavenly wonderful fragrant trees and sandalwood fragrant trees. There are also many sublime kalpataru trees, with sublime heavenly crowns and ear ornaments hanging over them, which are adorned with especially wonderful, precious necklaces. Hanging over those trees there are also many precious bells, wonderful garments, and kausika clothes. Under each of those kalpataru trees there are one hundred Gandharva kings, who constantly perform various music. There are also droves of deer and inspired birds who ponder when they hear the music. Most sentient beings are suffering from transmigration. Why do the people in southern cotton and jambu Vipa see and suffer from the afflictions such as birth, aging, illness, and death, being separated from the persons or things that they love, and so on? These birds and deer then think of the name of this Mahayana sublime treasure king sutra. Thereupon many heavenly superior delicious drinks and foods, heavenly wonderful fragrances, heavenly wonderful clothes, and so on, will appear and satisfy them according to their wishes. Eliminate obstructions, Bodhisattva then said to the Bhagavat, What I heard just now is really rare, Bhagavan. The Buddha said, Virtuous man, what do you think then? Eliminate obstructions, Bodhisattva said to the Bhagavan, Only by being mindful of the name of this sutra, those sentient beings can gain such great benefits, peace, and happiness. If anyone can hear this sutra, can also write, uphold, read, recite, make offerings to, and honor this sutra, such a person will always be in peace and happiness. If any other one writes even one word in this sutra, he will be free from the sufferings of transmigration, will never be born in the families of the inferior classes, such as butchers, slaughterers, or the like. The bodies that he will be reborn in will never have the diseased or unhappy aspects, such as hunched back, crooked feet and hands, lame leg, ugly lip, disfigurements, scabies, leprosy, and so on. The bodies he will get will have perfect appearance, with all the faculties and great strength. How much more so of the merits and virtues gained by those who fully uphold, read, recite, write, make offerings to, and honor this sutra. 
the Bhagavan, then praised, Good indeed, good indeed, eliminate obstructions. You are so virtuous that can speak such dharma. Now in this congregation, the innumerable hundreds of thousands of ten thousands of gods, dragons, yaksas, gandharvas, asuras, garudas, kimnaras, mahoragas, humans and non-human beings, upasakas, upasikas, and so on, have all heard the dharma that you spoke. They also got to hear this extensive dharma gate because of your questions. Eliminate obstructions, Bodhisattva then said to the Bhagavan, Bhagavan, now please go on to speak this wonderful dharma, to make the assembly of gods, humans, and so forth all arouse the unbreakable faith. The Bhagavat then praised, Good indeed, good indeed, virtuous man. You can ask repeatedly in such a way about the merits and virtues manifested inside the hair pores on the body of Avalokiteshvara. Eliminate obstructions, there is also a treasure sublime hair pore, inside which there are innumerable hundreds of thousands of ten thousands of kotis of nayutas of Gandharva women who have beautiful faces and good and wonderful figures adorned with various ornaments. Their appearances look like heavenly goddesses. They are immune from the afflictions of greed, anger, and ignorance, and their bodies do not suffer from even the least afflictions or worrying of the human world. Those Gandharva women recite the name of Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva Mahasattva at the three times of the day. Then, they get all the necessities they desire. Eliminate obstructions, Bodhisattva then said to the Buddha, Bhagavan, I wish to enter into the hair pores to see the things inside. The Buddha said, Virtuous man, his hair pores have no boundary, just like the space realm, which has no boundary. Virtuous man, such hair pores have neither obstruction nor the trouble of collision. If Samantabhadra Bodhisattva Mahasattva enters into and roams within one of those pores for twelve years, he still cannot reach the boundary of it. Inside each hair pore, he sees that there are Buddha units dwelling. This is why Samantabhadra cannot see the boundaries and distances of the pores, so how can other Bodhisattvas be able to see the boundaries of them? Eliminate obstructions, Bodhisattva then said to the Buddha, Bhagavan, if Samantabhadra Bodhisattva Mahasattva roams within a pore for twelve years but still cannot see its boundary, and there are one hundred Buddhas inside each of those hair pores, since even Samantabhadra Bodhisattva Mahasattva cannot get to see the boundary, how can I be able to do it?'